What's going on everybody? Kyle Powers here with Haven Real Estate Group at eXp Realty. First off, thanks for checking out the channel. I do appreciate it. Today, we're gonna go over the top 10 things that you can do in Manhattan around Christmas time. Number one on our list, go to the carnivals, go to the parades, go enjoy those kinds of things. There is literally, um, there's right at the beginning of December uh, for the Christmas time and everything that way, there is a Flint Hills Festival of Lights carnival. There's all kinds of bouncy houses and booths and cookies and all kinds of stuff that you can really enjoy. Kids can get down there, get out and about, get in there, get immersed in everything. Uh, I know last year we went, there was um, uh, a couple of like sand, like uh, sensory type things that you can get into. Uh, so I would definitely recommend checking that one out. That is uh, Flint Hills Festival of Lights Christmas Carnival. Uh, usually I think it's the beginning of December, so be checking for that one as well. Um, but yeah, so we definitely check that one out, the carnivals, the Christmas carnivals that are around as well. Number two on our list, going to a farmer's market, the holiday market. So what we have, it goes along every single year, I do know that, but or it goes along every month, every week, whatever it may be, but the there's a holiday market, farmer's market, uh, the Saturday for downtown and farmer's market deal. So it's holiday themed, you've got all kinds of stuff. Realistically, you're getting a lot of locals being able to selling the produce, selling their products, doing whatever it may be on that end of it. Uh, but definitely a good spot to check out. I would enjoy, I would recommend going out there, just kind of seeing what you've got. Who knows, maybe you get some Christmas gift ideas and you're done early this year. <laughs> Number three, this is one that I'm probably gonna check out with my family this year. We've got ice skating rink here in Manhattan. So every single year uh, during this time of year, once it gets cold and then the holidays and stuff, they always, uh, the city always puts together an ice skating rink right there at the pavilion down City Park. So I would definitely recommend checking that one. Obviously, if your kids are too young to get on skates, be cognizant of that. But I, uh, that's one that I think my kids and I are gonna go check out. You might as well, I mean, it's a lot of fun. It's, it's not huge when you compare it to like New York City or anything that way, but it's great for our little area and it's an enjoyable place to bring the kids and it's something different. Number four on our list is the Spirit of the Holidays, Manhattan, Kansas uh, Holiday Lighted Parade. This thing, I will tell you, we've been to it a couple times. Last year, we really enjoyed it. Our kids were old enough to really actually understand what's going on. This is really neat. Obviously, a parade's a parade, but this is really neat. They do it at night. They do it at night, and they everybody lights up their floats or lights up their trucks or lights up themselves. I've seen that too, uh, where they just kind of walk through and everybody gets a good, they have a good competition and a little thing of who has the best floats, who has the best decorations, whatever it is. You get candy, you get to enjoy some stuff, and let's be real, you get to enjoy the people uh, having some fun with that as well. So the Lighted Parade, I would definitely recommend checking that one out. Uh, that's probably one of our favorites uh, here in town that we get to, that we try to go to every single year. So definitely check that one out. There's a lot of local businesses that'll get involved in that one. So if you're a local business, definitely check that one out. See if it's anything that you would be interested in getting into. I think for this year, it probably is a little bit too late, but next year, definitely get into it. Number five on our list is the Festival of Lights down on 4th Street. So. What this is, is they actually go through, the city of Manhattan has this whole big thing that they actually go through and they start running into, uh, they literally light up the entire 4th Street area right in front of Flint Hills Discovery Center. So you've got the big Christmas, lighted Christmas tree, you've got all the trees wrapped around there and it's all set to music. It's all really, really great uh, to go down there just to kind of enjoy. It doesn't take long, but I will tell you from experience, our kids love it. They love going down there. They love enjoying the lights. They love getting out into that stuff and, and really kind of enjoying that area uh, and just kind of in, in getting out there. So checking out the Festival of Lights down there on 4th Street, highly recommend that one too. Number six on our list, visiting Santa at the mall. I would definitely check this out. Obviously there's going to be a ton of local businesses that have Santa. Uh, I know for a fact that like my clients, we get to pictures with Santa and cookies and things like that. So there's gonna be all kinds of Santa opportunities for you to check out, but Definitely checking out Santa, uh, either at the mall or whether local businesses, things like that, that I would definitely say is always a fun time. I really enjoy, I'm obviously a little biased for ours. Uh, we let the kids come in, decorate cookies, do those things. But if you don't have the opportunity to do that, I would definitely say getting into the mall and visiting Santa would be a highlight of most kids' days as well. Number seven on our list, horse-drawn carriages. So what we have a lot of here is that uh, down on 4th Street, again, part of that Festival of Lights, they have a couple horse-drawn carriages that the guys, the people will run. Uh, I don't know what uh, what times they run, so don't check me on that one, but 
Um, but there's a lot of horse-drawn carriages. They'll take you down, looking at points, looking at the lights, doing all that stuff, and just kind of, just a quick loop. I don't remember how much it costs or if it does cost. I think it's just donations, actually. Um, but checking that one out is definitely a fun. My kids have always enjoyed doing that. So when you're down there checking out the Festival of Lights, just hop on a carriage ride and you'll enjoy that. I promise you won't forget it. I will tell you, dress warm, bring blankets. That is fun. Or that is something I would recommend doing because it does get pretty cold when you're on there. So checking out the horse-drawn carriages. Number eight on our list is going to be Christmas shows in McCain. I know we talked about this in, in some of my other videos, but there are a lot of actual Christmas shows, a lot of things there at McCain, at Manhattan Performing Arts Center. Uh, there's a lot of Christmas shows local to us, whether it be local people or whether it be people brought in. Uh, but I would definitely say checking out the Christmas parties or the Christmas uh, uh, shows around town that are actually really good. And actually you'd be very surprised of how, uh, how good those shows can be and actually are. Uh, but I would definitely checking out the Christmas shows would be a good one. Number nine on our list is Santa's Luminary Trail at the zoo. Uh, this happens at the end of November, beginning of December timeframe. So be looking for that one if you are interested in doing this one. But again, back to the, the zoo really does a good job of being interconnected within our community. So I would definitely check out the Luminary Trails, checking that out too, because uh, you'd really enjoy that one. Just kind of going through, again, they light up the whole zoo, they have everything. It's a really neat experience with the kids, with you, whoever it may be, it's definitely enjoyable as well. So I would check that one out. Last but definitely not least, number 10 on our list is checking out MHK Trolley and renting that one, MHK Trolley, going and enjoying and doing a, a lighted Christmas tree or Christmas light tour uh, to where you literally drive through neighborhoods, go check out the, all the Christmas lights, whether you're in Sharing Brook, the State Streets, Candlewood, wherever it is, MHK Trolley will take you around. You can go enjoy it. Uh, again, whether it's with the kids or whether it's with a group of friends. I know uh, our group of friends, we've got people going out in a couple, uh, in about a week, we're gonna be going out and doing this. I would definitely recommend it. It's a lot of fun, uh, whether you're with family or whether you're not, it's definitely a lot of fun and definitely I highly recommend doing it because you just enjoy it and you definitely won't regret it. So if you guys have enjoyed this video, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go and hit that little bell so you get notified of any future content and give us that like because it helps us grow the channel. If you guys have any questions, as always, give me a call, 785-477-5485. My email is kyle at homesforsellemhk.com. As always, if you need any help with buying, selling, or investing in real estate in Manhattan, please reach out. I would love to talk with you. And as always, if, you, if I miss something or if you think of something, please comment below. I would love to record another video on it and I just need the ideas on it. So, Enjoy, and until next time, happy holidays. We'll talk to you later.